All right, guys, welcome back. Day number three of this shop build out. What we have planned for today, I got to make a couple stands for my drum sander, my router, and the planer, the wood planer. I really hope I can get those done today, or at least mostly done. So that's kind of what we're going on today. I'm just going to let these cameras roll while I'm working, and uh, hopefully we can make some more progress. <laughs> So we got the basic top welded up. This can be super simple. I don't need to put anything else on here. Uh, we're just gonna take our little transfer punch. I've kind of set it up, measured it all, got it all squared away. I have enough room here for the legs. And then uh, we're just gonna pop a hole, four holes, boom, boom, drill them out. And then I might weld the tubing at this angle. So it'll actually come a little wider I don't know if that'll, whoa, it might not be good because I don't, you know, I don't really want it to be interfering. And maybe we'll just make the legs come straight down. Maybe we'll angle them. They could be a little wide, like, I don't know. We're just gonna get this. No, we gotta do this first. I'm gonna mark these holes, drill these holes, and then we'll figure out what to do about the legs. <laughs> basic shape of it. Now, seeing as I'm like a fantastically experienced fabricator, I never ever miss details. So when I uh, figured the length of these legs, these are at seven degrees. This is the final working height I want, but I forgot about the fact that I'm gonna be putting casters on. <laughs> so that's real good. I'm just gonna uh, use this piece of channel, put it up to there, scribe a line, scribe a line, do that to all the legs and then come with an angle grinder and cut it off. At least they're not too short. Don't know what happened to cut it three times and it's still too short. I wonder if I can do a decent job with the porta band. That might be the best option. is fantastic at least on uh on that welding bench stoked okay cool beans now we'll be at the right height con casters so i think the next thing to do <sighs> next thing to do is i'll cut some pieces of plate steel weld it to the bottom so that we can bolt the casters on because this being a a wood sanding drum sander machine. These things are gonna get loaded up and eventually I might need to just swap them out. Much easier just to unbolt them when they get old and tired than have to cut welds and then worry about getting everything leveled again. So we find some steel plate for this. I know I have some somewhere. And then also I'll be welding in braces here. We're basically just gonna stiffen it up a little bit and then We'll be ready to stick this thing on and get this thing out of our hair. Out, out of my... Never mind.
All right, so we are at about day four or five. I've kind of lost track and I've spent a lot of the last couple days organizing, just kind of getting it so that I can actually do some stuff in here. If you've ever set up a large shop, you probably understand it's a lot of work and I'm finding this, it's almost overwhelming where to start. There's so much to do, so I'm just kind of going. Really nice to have that cart done for the drum sander. I can wheel it out when I need it, put it away. The next cart I'm gonna build, other than the one I'm gonna build right now, is gonna be for the thickness planer. That thing needs, you know, 10, 12 feet in feed, out feed, and it's kind of a pain to set up. The router, I could put right here and do my routering that I need to do, but the thickness planer, that's gonna be, I'm looking at what's gonna be the most advantageous, what's gonna be the handiest thing to have on a cart, and that's the cart I'm building. But, before we do that, I'm using a light right now, just to kinda, you know, get that eye, that light in the eye kinda makes you look more alive. This is filming without it, kinda flat, kinda drab, Boom, just kind of looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna make a little tri leg cart that this can go on so I can wheel it around to where I'm working if I need more light, if I don't need more light. Gonna get that done, I've got some scrap C-channel up in the barn that I'm gonna use to make that. Once that's done, then we'll probably start on a cart for the thickness planer. All right, thanks for hanging out. Just kind of bringing you along with the progress. One project that I've kiboshed, I was going to put a shelf above this workbench and I took the material that I was gonna to use to do that and I held it up there and it just killed all the light on the workbench. I could put in some under cabinet lighting, but I just don't feel like doing that. And I think instead, my little white table that's right here, that's where I'm gonna put the shelf. I want that shelf for things like technical manual, sandpaper, uh, Windex. I always use Windex, whether I'm hand sanding or just cleaning things up. There's certain things that I like to have out and at the ready, WD-40, so that stuff will live there. It's gonna be handy to have. Oh man, so much work. But this week, uh, today is Monday, the 18th of July, and my wife and the kids are helping out at like a kid's camp. And so they're gone all day, every day, which means I have zero distractions. So this should be a very productive week. So the basic plan, I went and mocked it up in some wood before I start cutting steel. But if we cut these at 30 degrees, have a point right in the middle, I can just have three legs come like this. And then the tripod will sit on there and I'll have a caster at each end. Should be fairly straightforward and simple to build. So I'm gonna want these 16 inches.
right, so there it is. Now, what I plan to do, the reason I built it this way was first of all, I wanted clearance. I couldn't put the casters up on this side because then they wouldn't have room to swivel. But there's that strapping stuff, you know, for like the stuff with a whole bunch of holes. I can't find it right now. Packed away in a box somewhere. Probably just go pick some new stuff up, but I'm gonna end up putting one over each leg. That's kind of, I kind of thought about that when I was laying it out. That way I can actually clamp it down to the base. That way it won't be tipsy and it'll add a little extra girth to support that big, huge light. But it's pretty handy the way you can just wheel it around now. Just have to do a little cord management. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna like this. I, I should probably get a better stand actually. This thing's a little bit, a little bit wobbly for such a light. You know, it drives me nuts when you've got projects like that that you can't entirely finish because I wanna get those straps done. No clue where they are. Anyways, while well, we've got all of our tools out and our mess out, we may as well go ahead and build a stand for the planer. Cool. So I built this cart the exact same way that I did the cart for the drum sander, and I figured I'd just do a time lapse, but incidentally, my camera died. I never noticed it, so I did finish the cart, but I didn't finish a video of it. It's pretty much the same thing over and over again. So I got this cart done, and uh, one thing I never used to do, and I'm trying to do it in this shop, is to actually paint the different carts and fixtures. I'm trying to turn a new leaf, you know? So the bolt locations on this particular planer are really difficult to get at, hard to mark out. So I left room right here. I'm actually just gonna buy some C-clamps, put those in there on all four corners and just leave them. It's, it's gonna be fine. So I'm pretty happy with this. It'll be really nice, nice working height for planing the wood. This was actually a stand that I used to set this on every time back and forth. And so I made it the exact same height. I really like that height to work at. And uh, another cart done. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up for me out in the shop today. Tomorrow, I think what we'll do is we'll start in that grinding room, empty it out, possibly paint it, new lights. I also need to add a light over in this corner in the mezzanine, it's very, very dark over there. And uh, did a little tidy up and I'm not sure if I'll build more carts tomorrow. One day soon, coming up in the next video or two, I'm gonna be building a big workbench here. It's very excited. This little thing does great for small stuff, but I want a nice big place where I could build go-karts or you know, if I wanna build large shelving units or something like that, want a nice big surface to work from. Tonight, I have to go make dinner. Actually, every night this week, I told my wife I would make dinner because she and the kids are helping out at the camp, so tonight's gonna to be eggplant parmesan and uh, Caesar salad garlic bread. Now I'm not making the eggplant parm from scratch. I mean, uh, there's a place in Calgary called the Italian store and they sell like frozen lasagnas and stuff and they're very, very good. And so that's what's going to be tonight. I need to go get that going. And then I need to figure out a meal plan. I think if I kind of get ahead of it and I know what I'm going to do each day, it's not going to be so difficult. So I can just say, okay, whoosh, an hour before we eat, I'll go in there and make dinner. But I appreciate hanging out guys. Thanks so much for coming. If you have any questions about the setup I'm doing, suggestions, I've had so many great tips from you guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, these next couple videos will be continuing with the shop build out. Uh, a lot of you guys are asking for more knife videos and I totally get that. I just didn't wanna get into making knives until things were set up properly. It's one of these things, once you just start doing stuff, you'll never, it takes a lot longer to get around to, you know, painting or setting up that room properly. So I wanna get that all done want it so I can just work and be efficient. And once that's done, then we can do some more knife projects. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers. I gotta go edit some video.